afternoon. I hope everyone is well and safe and vaxxed up if you can and a booster. Um, this is Joyce All-Knowing Tarot. Glad to be back with you. If you have not had an opportunity, take a look at my February horoscope there, February uh, 1, kind of into January, February 1 and to mid February. They were some great readings. You don't want to miss out on that. I love to do um, the horoscope reading. Someone said they didn't know I'd do that. Yeah, I've been doing that for a long time, more off and on, off and on, depending on what my schedule looks like, because it takes a lot to do those, but I like to do them anyways. Um, today, I want to take a look at Kirsten Cinema. You know Kirsten Cinema. She is the Democratic representative that was censured. Why? Because um, she opposed a change to the filibuster. The filibuster is what would have, uh, getting rid of the filibuster would have allowed the Senate to only need 50 votes to pass the voting rights uh, uh, bill so that we could have the voting rights the way that, um, hey, when you had a chance to stand up for us, you did not. Here's the thing about it. First of all, um, she's from Arizona. Arizona isn't n uh, normally known as a Democratic state, but it did go Democrat this time, only by 10 or 11,000 votes though. Um, but this person is up for re-election in 2024. I think that she's up for re-election then, as well as, don't you know that she wants to be president? She would like to run for president. So I wanna see what's around her. What would make her go the way of mansion and go against her own party like i don't even understand what's going on and i feel like a lot of it is financially based myself but let me see angels guides what's going around with this kirsten sema what's going on around her i'm using the light sears by the way what's going around christian kirsten kirsten that sounds like such a little girl's name, Kirsten. What's going on with her? Let me take a bunch, put them in reverse. So we'll have a balanced look at her. Everyone's having a great day. So where I am, it has been snowing for days and days and days. It's cold. I think today the high is like 18. The low is going to be like nine and yeah, plus the snow, so it's not uh, the energy around her reading the justice card in reverse. Justice card in reverse says that they got you blocked. They got you blocked. You are on punishment and that will affect you for sure. Wow. The justice card says that it, no matter what you do, it will not work out for you. You got justice. She's got the tower. You can see that, the tower. She's got the hangman in reverse. She got the seven of pentacles in reverse. Wow. So this lady had this bright idea, right? Uh, and I think she was approached. I feel like that she was approached with this situation. And she decides to go against her party. And that was a shock. You know, that's the tower moment. That was a shock to everybody. But it was a shock to her as well. She did not see her being censured. Hard to say that in the morning. Censured how it came at her. She, the hangman in reverse says, you didn't think this out very well. Instead of going and using your own mind, you follow behind someone else who said, do it this way. The the hangman is saying, uh-uh, I'm going to go inside myself. The hangman, when it's this way, I'm going to see things differently. I'm going to do things the way I want to. I'm not trying to fit in with anybody or anything like that. But that's the energy that she has. She's in a number six uh, personal year right now, which is somebody who does want to fit in, who does want to be accepted, who does want to look like I'm standing up and I'm doing my job. But in, but in fact, you weren't. You were trying to fit in with something that did not work in your favor. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles should be a very lush experience where 
you've accumulated uh, some wealth and I'm wealth might be a strong word but you've got some savings you've got your life in order things are in order the way sh they should be you've planted seeds and the seeds have sprouted and they're trying to make progress in your life and now you're deciding I've got this good this is working out for me what's next and instead hers is in reverse it says that whatever you were planning to do will be a fail everything that she does from this point on for now will be a fail her seeds aren't growing she's not going to be able to benefit anybody aka republican party or anything like that none of that is going to happen and like i said she's in a number six year now but she's going into a number seven year and that'll start her birthday is july 12 1976 i should tell you so her birthday going into a number seven come july for the whole next year july uh, she will be silent. She will be quiet. I don't know how long the censure will last, but in her life, she will be quiet. She'll make no impact. No one will listen to anything that she has to say. There'll be no interest in her whatsoever. Yeah, she's really done it to herself. She's got the nine of swords in reverse. It means that she is not even forgiving herself. Yes, somebody came to her and offered her a sweet deal somebody younger somebody probably is very charming maybe attractive in her eyes that talked her into doing this and made her believe that by doing this this will progress you you'll get more votes if you're going to run for election you know arizona is ugh, you might need those republican votes and so she went for it and in the end she hurt herself and she had a lot of potential too and she is is really hurt with it i can tell you that right now she's very hurt with her decision uh nine of swords reverse says that you are stuck in this decision you're not coming out of it you're stuck in these worries fears anxiety you don't know what's going to happen to you next but i can tell you it's going to be a very quiet year for you i want to see quickly with her will she proceed with her plans to run for president spirit tell me will she see her plans running for spirit i don't think so she got the knight of wands in reverse should be upright knight of wands is somebody we all like we resonate with their spirit and their energy knight of knight of wands is a uh, leo energy that is big sun energy we're all drawn to that that's the person that will listen to us will lead us wherever we need to go instead mm -mm. And the thing about it, the filibuster was used very rarely until Obama came. And then the spike of Republicans that used the filibuster to block everything that he did to make him appear to be a failure in every way was used consistently. It was out of control. It was definitely out of control. And in turn, the, Repub the Democrats tried to do that with Trump as well, not as much as they did for Obama but that's when they started using it like crazy it was very seldomly used now it's abused but her chances of running for anything mm, doesn't look good to me at all king of wands in reverse is someone who doesn't have any um regrets they're over arrogant they'll do they're going to defend their wrong you know those people that do wrong and then they got a defense for it. <laughs> they can defend their wrong that's going to be her mm -hmm. i got her the five of pentacles uh five of pentacles in reverse so she's definitely out in the cold she's going to just be an audience member just like us to the rest of the shenanigans that are going on she tied herself too much into government that's the hierophant it represents government she tied herself into government in a negative way and she put her own self out in the cold by the choices that she made will she be running for president real soon absolutely not mm -mm. no she will continue to be blocked this is the chariot in reverse she'll go nowhere in her political career so much so she's got the fool telling me that she's going to leave out of government altogether she will leave out or she will be voted out and have to start something completely new start her life all over again and she'll go back to regular traditional three of pentacles traditional work 
Um, so she can take presidency off the board. That's not going to happen for her. So, yeah. Um, I was dreaming, like on the verge of sleep or whatever, and I got the message, this really good download that was saying that the for the Voters Act would work. It's just that there is some things that have to be tweaked with it. There's some things that have to be changed in such a way the Republicans will go along with it. They will. But there's something in it that has to be changed. I don't know. I don't know what's all in that because a lot of times they come with these bills and they squeeze in a lot of stuff. There's either something got to be taken out or put in that's going to work in their favor and then it will pass. Let me just take a quick look. I think a long time ago, myself and somebody, we did a reading, I collab with someone, and we saw the voter right bill happening, but that it was going to be a long time. It was going to be a lot of work taken, had that have to happen. Yeah, okay. So there's a lot of worry and stress around, is it going to happen? There's a lot of uh, people feeling hurt and betrayed with this lady or anybody else that was going up against it. But I see that they are going to get to it. This may have to go to a higher court. This this will go to some type of court. This will get done. They're going to have to do some surgery on it. This is the Ace of Swords, and this reminds me of surgery. They're going to have to go into a different state of mind and put some things in or take some things out that's going to make everybody happy. And if they do that, the bill will pass. They get so, and I say they, the people that are supposed to be working for us, that represent us, get so caught up in um, having to be right, having to be right, that they're forgetting about they need to be clear on what it is they want. But right now, mm -mm, it's going to sit. It's going to sit. We got judgment in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse that says that this is stuck. Uh, it's stuck. People are not looking at themselves. People are not waking up and saying, what am I doing? How am I hurting my own party? Why shouldn't everybody be able to get to the polls and vote the right way that works best for them? Don't get it. Don't get it. It just seems to me that the rich want to stay rich. The poor would like a leg up or a little bit of help. How are you going to pull up your bootstraps if you don't have boots to begin with? And they want us fighting with each other rather than us pulling together. But anyways, guys, that's my reading for you. Make sure to thumbs up the video. Um, support the channel. I'm coming back at my channel nice and strong the way I like. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye now.